guys and welcome to this YouTube video. My name is Lina and today we are trying to spot AI art. I have been a professional artist for the better half of 10 years. I've worked with companies like Ubisoft, CD Projekt Red, Clip Studio, all of them in the past. I've worked with art even longer and have done both traditional and digital art over the years. So I do like to believe that I have a lot of expertise in this field, but AI art has been getting really out of hand over the past couple of years with people having a harder and harder time to spot the difference between genuine art and generative AI art. As an artist, I obviously have a really big stance on AI art. I personally don't like what's going on at the moment. I wish AI art could be used in a consensual and ethical way, but we are not at that point at the moment. And I think a lot of people are using these tools to scam people out of money. If you are a person who likes artists and real human drawings. Let me tell you, today we're gonna look at some different images and try to spot the difference between the real thing and the AI. And hopefully I can give you guys some tips along the way so you know how to spot AI art. So my editor made this really cool slideshow for me. There's some different pictures that we will be able to see. Some of them are AI generated and some of them are not. And I have not seen these pictures before. So it's gonna be really interesting to see if I am even able to spot the difference. We got the first image. Um, I think this is supposed to be a dog or a sheep laying down. And I would say this one is AI generated. The reason for that, I'm just gonna try to give you a few reasons why I think something is AI or isn't AI. Then I hope that I don't make a fool of myself once we reveal the answer. The reason why I think this one is AI generated is because it's trying very hard to be organic, but it doesn't actually look like it. You can see the lines look really weird, especially around the mouth. I think the brush is supposed to try to throw us off where it looks like, oh, this was made with a brush that's supposed to look like a pencil. The lines are not very straight. Also, the same goes for the bow. It just looks like it wasn't generated properly. There's no reason why it wouldn't be straight lines. Even if you use a brush that is more textured, a normal artist would know how to draw a bow in straight lines. This just looks like it was generated. I also think there's a lot of pixelation in the image that gives off the impression of AI. And I was right, the first one is AI generated. Let's move on to the second one. Oh, that one's interesting. Initially, I would instantly think that this one is AI generated as well. That's mainly because there is this area on the cake that has little scribbles in it. It just doesn't look like something a real human would do. Also, the texture is so off again in the background. It definitely looks a little bit more convincing than the first one. I would just say uh, the fruits look very good. The texture on the background of the painting just seems so out of place. There's a bunch of lines that just don't make sense, especially on the cake. You can see the different colors that were used and they make these weird shapes on the cake themselves. And it's AI generated. <laughs> Hey, two for two. Let's see if we can continue the streak. And now we're looking at the third picture and initially, instantly, I wanna say this is hand painted. The background very much looks like canvas and it looks like it was drawn with either acrylics or oil, I would say. All of the lines make a lot more sense to me. I would actually think that this one is real. This is based on colors and composition and shape. I would say that this is drawn by a real human. A lot of the strokes make sense. The texture makes sense. The picture overall makes sense. And it is real. Okay, we got the next one. Ooh, this one's hard. Okay, because this one is only lines. And I think sometimes, especially if you're trying to detect AI art, you need to go into the details. My initial thought would be that this is real. The brush strokes again, this looks like this was hand 
drawn and there is different colors of black as well. So in the process of making traditional art, what happens is when you work with fine liners and different brand of fine liners, they might have different shades of black. So if you scan an artwork with your printer, it can detect those different shades of black showing up as slightly brown in some areas. And we do have that in the upper left corner of the artwork. So this makes it look really real. Like this is someone who sketched this and then did outlines scanned the artwork and uploaded it. I'm obviously also trying to look for faces if there are any in the picture because AI often has trouble generating faces or hands as you might have heard before. But there are no hands and the faces are very much cut off. I like how the lines are not all super straight and I'm not sure if a machine could emulate it that well. And hey, we're right. This is a real artwork. Look at me go. I'm on a whole streak. I'm so scared that I'm gonna mess this up really bad. Oh, and now we're at the next one and I'm pretty sure that that is AI generated. I'm sorry, I'm just always going off my first thought only and it just looks too Good. That sounds really stupid, but it doesn't look human made. This is supposed to be watercolor and while there are brushes for it to emulate watercolors in uh, softwares like Clip Studio and Photoshop, this just doesn't look correct. And this is mainly based on some small areas like we have bushes and flowers, but there are like weird bits and bobs going off of them which I feel like a real artist wouldn't draw like that. The building in the background looks okay to me, but also the cat. The cat looks right. It almost looks too good for me. It just doesn't look like something made by a human being. If you look at the red flowers all the way to the left, there is a very distinctive straight line going down from the first red flower to the second one that is right beneath it. But I would say it's AI generated. And it is AI generated. Okay, next one. I think they are get, starting to get a little bit harder. For this one, I'm not 100% sure. There is, I'd like to believe that this is hand painted. Again, it looks like something drawn traditionally, uh, probably with acrylics. I feel that AI has a really hard time generating textures that don't look flat. This again looks to me very organic. The strokes in the background make sense. It looks like you took your pencil for the blue area in the background and sometimes you had a little bit more paint on the pencil and while you're moving along the background, you have less and less color on your pencil or your brush and that's why you have different amount of paint on the finished painting. So I would say that this one is real just based on this brush strokes. It looks very organic. If this is AI generated, I'm gonna be very sad. It is real, thank God. <laughs> it's actually a really pretty painting. I like the bold choice of colors. I personally cannot do that, but it looks really, really cool. Next image, it's a flower. I'm zooming in a little bit. I would say that this image is AI generated. Again, some of the texture with the dots doesn't really make sense to me. They go in different places. Look past the petals in, in a hole, the picture looks okay. But once you zoom in a little bit and look at a few details, a few of the areas are just morphing into each other. That doesn't make sense to me. I don't think a real artist would do that. I would see this as uh, AI art. And it is AI generated. Next one, we got a bunch of bunnies, my favorite. Well, now I need to make sure I get this one right, otherwise I'm gonna be sad. So this one is really interesting because I actually like it a lot. The first look, I really like the colors. I like the little bunnies that are jumping up top. Um, this looks very much like it was digitally painted, but is trying to give off the feeling of being painted with traditional medium. Or it was painted in traditional medium and then some small things were added 
but I would consider this artwork to be real. A few things confuse me a tiny bit, but overall the bunnies and the placements make sense. There's one bit I'm a little bit confused by, one of the legs of the bunnies at the top seems a little bit off but still overall it looks very consistent the style makes sense to me yeah but i would say that this one is real and it is real and i like it a lot i need to follow this artist we have this looks more like photography and a picture of flowers again i think those are called daisies in english on first glance without zooming in i would consider this to be ai generated but i'm not sure i'm gonna zoom in a little bit and i think with spotting ai art you need to take a little bit of time to look at the artwork a little bit more and then trying to find inconsistencies in the media or artwork you look at so in this case i my first hinge was that it is ai and i would probably stay with that notion because after zooming in you can see a lot of inconsistencies with some of the petals uh, they just don't look like real flowers so i would say that this one is ai generated and i was right this picture is ai generated Next picture, we have a picture of a girl in black and white. And at first glance, I would say that this is also AI generated. This is because there is a lot of blurring. AI generative art loves to do that, especially for portraits. Often it's supposed to give the illusion of a defocusing from a camera, but it just looks wrong. This could also be very badly photoshopped, so maybe it is real. This could definitely also just have been edited by a photographer to give a little bit of a smoother face. Especially the left side of the photo just looks too blurry to me, so I would consider this AI generated. I also think the eyebrows look way too perfect. Your eyebrows are too perfect, you're not real. <laughs> and it is AI generated. Next picture is one of a cat laying on a bed. First hunch would be that this is a real artwork, that it was drawn traditionally and scanned afterwards. This is mainly because in the backgrounds there are a little bit of grainy textures on the white, which paper likes to do when it's getting scanned. The cat also looks consistent. The brush strokes make sense to me. There's nothing that just disappears into nothingness. How do I explain stuff? I'm just saying this is real art, okay? Please just trust me. Um, now it turns out this one is not real. And this one is a real artwork and it's very cute. I like it a lot. It would actually be fun to also reach out to the artists and figure out if I'm right about the mediums that they are using. Next one is AI generated. It's a picture of a bunny. And I'm just gonna say that this is not real. And the first thing that strikes me is that behind the bunny's ears, there's just nothing. It seems like there was supposed to be a mountain and the mountain starts on the left, but then it stops between its ears and then it continues on the right. I'm also really confused by how much of the face is cut off. This could be a stylistic choice, but overall this just seems wrong because this looks like an artist who would have a lot of understanding of colors and compositions, but at the same time there's so many very beginner mistakes in it. And it is AI generated. Next one looks like a bunch of hangers and it's supposed to be a photo again. On first glance I would say that this one is real. It's a very interesting pictures with a lot of colors. I'm trying to make sense of the different lines and try to see if I can find inconsistencies in them. As mentioned earlier, there are different kind of blurring effects that could give away that something is generative AI, but in this case, I would assume that this is caused by how you took the picture with your camera. I'm a little bit confused by some of the lines because they are not perfectly straight, but then also again, not every hanger in real life is always perfectly straight. If you have used it for a long time, it might be bent out of shape. Oh, hmm. 
don't know. There is this really distinctive red line or hanger going across the entire picture. But right underneath it is a part that is super detailed again with a lot of raindrops on it and it's very in focus and that just looks super off to me. Even though I thought this could be real, I would consider this to be AI generated. Oh no! Man, this one is throwing me for a loop. I don't know. I'm just gonna go with my gut feeling and say that this is actually real. It is real! Oh my god, yes! Last one, last one. Okay, we are the last one. I haven't made any mistakes yet. Please let me get this right. Throwing me for a loop this one. Okay, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, on this one there's a lot of different shapes happening which are kind of throwing me off. I'm also normally looking at texture, but this doesn't work here because there's so many different textures. They have been used very intentional, which is why I think this might be real art. I also think a lot of the shapes make sense. They don't disappear into nothing. So you know how I said like sometimes AI looks too perfect? Now I wanna turn this around and say this looks too perfect to be done by a machine uh, because a lot of the shapes make sense. I don't know, what I'm trying to say is I think this looks very good it looks very real. It looks like it's done by a very talented artist who has a good understanding of color theory. Everything makes sense. So I would consider this real art. It is real! I did it! Oh my god, that's kind of crazy. So yeah, is there a real conclusion to this? No. AI art is obviously very hard to spot for some people, especially if you have an untrained eye. Even though I got everything right today, I can tell you that I have seen art before. Just at first glance, I was like, oh yeah, this was obviously made by an artist. And then it turns out it was AI generated. It's kind of sad that we have to take these big steps of looking at every picture in details to make sure something was made by a real human, because otherwise some people might manipulate us, deceive us, or trying to scam us out of our money by just putting in a few prompts into a computer and generating a picture. Well, this was overall just a fun little challenge for me to see if I could spot the differences. I do understand that a lot of artists are in the predicament of not knowing where to go in the future and where AI art is taking us. Overall, I just want to say that I don't think I can ever be replaced and I don't think my art can be replaced. And I do believe if you get in contact with experienced artists, they will see the effort that you put into your craft. And I think those are the people that you should align with and not trying to give in to a computer doing the work for you and making some soulless piece of art. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to check out any of my other videos, click somewhere here in a second. I hope you have a good rest of your day and I hope I see you again next time. Bye bye.